Anyway, we're going to get started promptly uh, in, interest, in interest of everyone's time, and I want to be respective to that. So let's get this show going. Uh, welcome to Bristol Community College, Lambda Epsilon He, actually, it's not she, He, uh, induction ceremony. Uh, very excited uh, to, to have you all here. I'm Elizabeth Nowakowski. I'm the program uh, chair for the Paralegal and Legal Studies program here at Bristol Community College. I wanted to extend a very warm welcome to our special guests, uh, Dr. Laura Douglas, President of uh, Bristol Community College, Dr. Andrew Fisher, uh, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Dr. Patricia Sherblom, Dean of, I can do this, right? Uh, uh, of uh, Social S Behavioral Sciences and Education. Um, this is the division where we are, uh, where, where our program sits. So, um, I, I'm very excited about today because this is only a second time that we are holding induction ceremony. Lex uh, uh, was, cre was created by American Association for Paralegal Educators or Education in 1995, uh, and it was created to recognize uh, of the high, the, the high uh, educational achievement of paralegal and legal studies students. Um, in order to qualify to be inducted into the Honor Society, students have to complete at least two-thirds of the program, uh, and they have to have an overall GPA of 3.25 at least, and for the legal classes, their GPA has to be at least 3.5. So it's a really, really uh, rigorous um, standard, and I'm very excited to um, to to have all of you here uh, to celebrate with our students. Uh, we usually, um, you know, just usually students get inducted uh, only for the, for the year that they graduate, but because we had the pandemic, we haven't had a chance to hold the induction ceremony, and therefore you will see on the program we have uh, quite a few alumni being uh, inducted. So without further ado, I'd like to uh, ask Dr. Douglas, President Douglas, to uh, say a few words. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming, students and faculty and staff and our honored guests and all the loved ones of our students. So uh, just so great to have you to come out and celebrate such a great moment. So inductees, raise your hands for me, all the inductees. Look at that. Wow, what a great crowd and so many families to support them. I just want to congratulate you on earning this very prestigious honor of joining the Lambda Epsilon Key, got that right, National Honor Society for Paralegal and Legal Studies students. It's a really special deal and it's a very special honor society. And you know what? I've worked at many community colleges and many universities in my lifetime, and this is the first institution that has the Lex Honor Society. So it makes me really proud that Bristol is promoting the great work that uh, you have achieved. So I also would like our inductees just to take a minute uh, to appreciate what you've achieved here at Bristol Community College, how you've perse persevered and excelled and earned high grade point averages and valuable knowledge and skills too, right? Um, and I want to just have you thank your family members and your loved ones, the faculty and the staff, and all those who have supported you along your journey. Let's take a moment now to honor them with a round of applause. So inductees, we are so proud of what you have accomplished and what you will realize through leadership and service related to your profession in the years to come. Will you be getting pins today? I thought so, that's a big deal. So I hope that moving on that you'll be wearing those pins very proudly. So on behalf of all of us at Bristol Community College, I congratulate you on your outstanding achievement and wish you great success as you continue your studies and define your unique career pathways. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Douglas, President Douglas. Uh, next, I'd like to invite uh, and introduce um, a special guest, 
uh, attorney, Jennifer Sullivan. Uh, attorney Sullivan is, has been appointed as the eighth cl clerk of courts for Bristol uh, County. That's a correct uh, uh, assessment. And she um, has a very unique career, which I, it's worth mentioning. I think it's uh, especially uh, uh, relevant here. It's worth mentioning that Attorney Sullivan started her legal career working right out of high school uh, at various law firms as part-time uh, student or a graduate of high school and moved on to earn her law degree while, while working full-time uh, as a paralegal. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, she worked as a full-time paralegal and then she continued to uh, work at the Superior Court, and then she attended uh, law school while working full time, which I think a lot of our students can relate to that um, that kind of career. So um, right now she is working uh, as a, uh, and I have to mention that um, she is the first woman to hold that office as the clerk of uh, the s clerk of court, courts of the Superior Court for Bristol County. Uh, so uh, without a further ado, uh, please. Welcome, Clerk Sullivan. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Nowakowski, Dr. Douglas. Uh, good evening, students, inductees, faculty, and guests, family. I'm so honored to be here and share in this wonderful achievement with all of you. Um, thank you to um, Professor Nowakowski for inviting me and allowing me the privilege of being here tonight. It is with great pride and humility that I stand here before you this evening recognizing the extraordinary achievements of the Bristol Community College Paralegal Program's newest inductees into the Lambda Epsilon, okay, so I YouTube this and I came up with Chi, but apparently, what are we, a key, are we, is that what we're going with? Okay, Honor Society. Um, this distinction is not merely an accolade. It is a testament to your unwavering dedication, your relentless pursuit of excellence, and your unyielding commitment to the highest ethical standards that define the very essence of this prestigious society. As paralegals, you play a vital role in our legal system with the power to use unique skills to affect meaningful change. Paralegals often work tirelessly behind the scenes, ensuring that cases run smoothly and justly. But the impact goes far beyond the courtroom. You are often the first point of contact for clients and will have the opportunity to make a real difference in people's lives. With your skill set, you have the potential to be powerful agents of change. Your understanding of the law and close connection to the community will enable you to identify the areas where the system needs improvement and work to make it more equitable and accessible. And this has never been more important than it is today. Standing here tonight, I reflect on my own career journey. And like many of you, my path began with a certificate in paralegal studies. I remember feeling excited and nervous, but also extremely eager to dive into the world of law. I worked as a paralegal for several years, gaining invaluable experience in different areas of the law. Each role challenged me, pushed me out of my comfort zone, and helped me grow both as a professional and as an individual. Those years as a paralegal, though demanding, were some of the most rewarding of my life. As I looked to the future, I knew that I wanted more. I sought out new opportunities that would allow me to expand my knowledge and skills. In 2007, I joined the Superior Court as a clerical staff member. And though I started at an entry-level position, my paralegal experience prepared me well, and I was able to quickly take on more responsibility and advance within the office. While working full-time, I made the decision to pursue my dream of becoming an attorney. I enrolled in law school, taking classes at night and on weekends. It was a challenging time, but I was determined. My paralegal education and experience were key factors in my law school success. After nine years as an assistant clerk magistrate, I was thrilled to be appointed as the clerk of courts by the Supreme Judicial Court in 2022. So today I stand here as the eighth clerk of courts of Bristol County and the first woman in the role in the county's history. It is an incredible honor and a responsibility that I take very seriously. 
My journey teaches me that with hard work, dedication, and commitment to continuous learning, you can achieve your dreams, whatever they may be. It also reminds me that every step along the way, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, contributes to your growth and success. Tonight we are gathered to honor all of you who have not only met the rigorous standards for membership in LEX, but who serve as shining examples of the very best the paralegal profession has to offer. Your dedication is, is an inspiration to us all, reminding us that focus, discipline, and unwavering resolve, we too can reach the pinnacle of our potential. The path to excellence is not a smooth one. It is very often strewn with challenges and obstacles that test our mettle. It is in the face of these trials that we, the true measure of our character is revealed. It is through the crucible of hard work that we forge the skills, the knowledge, and the resilience that will sustain us throughout our careers. Congratulations to each one of our inductees and your families. Um, and I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. And if there's anything that I can ever do to help you along your journeys, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Clerk Sullivan. And I uh, would be remiss not to mention that Clerk Sullivan has been an amazing supporter of the program. In fact, she had two of our interns, her office, her, um, her staff had helped uh, host two of our interns who are actually here today getting inducted. So uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's a really special and we are looking forward to working uh, with, with you and your office uh, in the future. So now we're going to move on uh, to the uh, induction ceremony itself. And um, bear with me as I figure out the logistics because we have a couple of things to give you and uh, 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 we got this. So I think uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually say a few things first and then uh, Kelly, and I, I, I'm sorry I forgot to mention and acknowledge also member, uh, some of members of our faculty are here and members of our advisory board. So I apologize for not um, uh, mentioning uh, uh, those individuals earlier because our program would not be what it is without our amazing faculty and the advisory board that continues to tell us what we need to be doing in the program to improve and, um, and make sure that we, we teach what is relevant um, to uh, what's out there, right? Um, so thank you uh, for supporting uh, our program. So, um, I will say a few words and then um, I will ask you to all come up here and I'll ask our guests to help me um, help me uh, help us recognize you. So um, to the inductees, uh, congratulations, huge congratulations for your achievement. And uh, as we charge upon you, um, there are some, the symbols of a couple, few things that we will give you uh, will explain what it means to be members of Lambda Epsilon He. There's a debate, right? So you will receive three things today. You will receive a pen, you will receive a cord, and you will receive a certificate. And there is a meaning that goes with each one of these, and I promise to be brief. Um, as, I, as we lay a purple cord upon you and upon your shoulders, we also we also lay upon your shoulders the responsibility to mentor, to lead, to excel, and to strive. It is really important also to remember that the court is a connection that's going to bind you with Bristol Community College and this program. I would like to make sure that you don't forget us and don't forget what your legal education started, no matter what is next for you. So I hope you continue to visit us. You can, don't forget, you know where I am, you know where to find me. Everybody has my cell phone number. So um, it's, uh, please do not forget. Uh, then you will receive a pin and the pin is an outward and lasting reminder of your excellence, achievement and, com and commitment. Please continue to wear it to make sure that you show and continue uh, to show how you will continue to improve the legal education. 
The last thing you will receive, uh, or second to last, um, is the certificate, which is a form of a contract. And what it says is that from those to whom much is given, much is also expected. So please uh, remember those words and um, live by them. You have been given a gift of intelligence and character to use that intelligence to achieve excellence. So please, now we're going to celebrate and acknowledge you. And once again, we're going to ask you now to come forward and get those um, items. So I'm going to call you by name. If I could ask uh, Dr. Douglas, President Douglas, Dr. Fisher, and Dr. Shelblum to come up, and we'll figure it out. We got this. So I think um, <laughs> Kelly's going to help me. So Kelly, how are we doing? This? Maybe somebody wants to do. Yeah. Because we're not them Do you want to read the names? Because yeah, no, I don't know who's. Um, and that'll give you an yeah. opportunity. Yeah, I don't. I have the cord here. Cord, cord, cord. I have the cords. 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 Yeah, uh, I have the cords. So I think the first. Is Vaughn here? Did Vaughn make it? No. And is Sydney here? Oh, no, uh, Sydney Cabral, right? Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Not yet. I'm just checking. I, do, I didn't, I didn't uh, check you off. I'm sorry, Sydney. All right. If they're not, okay. I think we got this. All right. Thank okay. you, Dr. Fisher. No problem. All right. So, if you uh, are called, if you could come up, and then come to me, and then we'll do it this <laughs> way. And please stay here so we can take a group picture. I appreciate it. Sydney Cabral. Tina Caraballo. <laughs> Abigail Clark. Vanessa Garcia. Lisa Block Fletcher. D. Lavalle. <laughs> Thomas McCormick.
Robert A. Moss III. Carissa Randall. Melinda Santos. <laughs> Ashley Stevens. and Patricia Valente. to do one more recognition and um, we usually, well usually meaning second time, uh, do an extra recognition and membership and likes that we give to someone at the college or outside who had supported our program and uh, this year we have decided that that honor of being an inductee into L um, Lex uh, would go to Dr. Sheblom. We'd like to, she has been a huge supporter of the college. So, I shall give you the cord, and I will find the pen. And, so, I couldn't, I couldn't put it here, and we do have a certificate for you. So, thank you. How do we do it? We have a nice group who's going to tell us how to do it. Get everybody right. Uh, 